Manuel Rodriguez. And from North Miami Beach, right here in Florida, the light heavyweight champion of the world, the dancing master, Willie Pastrano. Willie P. Willie Pastrano, who boxes an awful lot like Cassius Clay. And here's a heavyweight on the comeback trail. Five KOs in a row, gunning for a title shot, the popular Californian, Eddie Machan. Machan. Eddie, punching better than ever, doing exceptionally well. And real close to ringside, ladies and gentlemen, a man who has been acclaimed as the greatest fighter, pound for pound, three-time middleweight champion, Sugar Ray Robinson. You know what this spectacle is, you've seen it before, Ray with a, a, a great uh, tuxedo sort of suit on, looks great, looks perhaps younger than he's looked in a long time, congratulated and wished Clay lots of luck, did the same with Sonny, says hello to the referee, and now the announcer. And doing, doing the commentary over television for theater, network, television, Probably one of the most beloved boxers of all time defended his title 25 times in his nine years as heavyweight champion, the Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. Lewis. My colleague tonight, my broadcast partner, got a great hand, and why not, an all-time great. And on the other side of the ring, doing his bit, for ABC Radio, the undefeated, retired heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano. Marciano. Rocky, very popular in the Southland, popular all over the country. Unbeaten, untied. Back to the ring announcer. This bout is under the auspices of veterans of foreign wars, post number 35. Five, nine. Under the promotion of Dundee McDonald Enterprises and the supervision of the Miami Beach Boxing Commission, consisting of Carl Gardner, Vice Chairman, Al Sherman, Dan Roth, Eddie Lassman, and Chairman Morris Klein. The officials assigned the doctor, the chief medical examiner, Dr. Alexander Robbins. The timekeeper is Gus Reno accounting for the knockdowns, Scotty Lang. Judging, Gus Jacobson, Bunny Lovett, and the referee, Barney Felix. This bout, 15 rounds for the heavyweight championship of the world. The challenger from Louisville, Kentucky, wearing white trunks with red stripes, weighing 210 and one half pounds, the former Olympic light heavyweight champion, Cassius Clay. Clay. And his opponent, from Denver, Colorado, weighing 218 pounds, wearing the black trunks with the white trim, the heavyweight champion of the world, Charles Sonny Liston. Liston. 15 rounds, two more bouts will follow. All right. I want a clean bout, men. In the event of a knockdown, a man out is down must take an eight count. Man standing up will go to a neutral corner while I start counting. And do not resume boxing until I tell you to do so. Now I want a clean bout. When they order to break, stop punching and step back. Good luck. Shake hands. All set now. World heavyweight boxing title on the line. 31-year-old Sonny Liston, 22-year-old Cassius Clay. Sonny the champion, Cassius the challenger. Sonny 218, Cassius 210 and a half, a seven and a half pound weight pool. Referee, the capable Barney Felix.
brought to you by Theater Network Television. Cassius Clay on the move as we see, looking to get Sonny to run, carrying his left hand dangerously low. champion Liston, the aggressive man, Ooh. a good heavy shot dug under the heart. Sonny has to set the pace. That's the way it looks at the outset. Cassius, awkwardly fast. Good long left lead that might keep the champion a bit off balance. Play still in the danger zone in that he's keeping his hands low, but you'll notice one thing if you don't mind, he's at long range with the hands low. We're halfway through round one. Watch out. But this youngster, 
has his own style, and it's confusing for the champion to fathom this early in the fight, at least up to now. Halfway through the second round. Second round. use it as a left lead, a lead to other shots if he can get this kid to stand still and then rip the body. Ten seconds more in the second round. The crowd's going to roar in a few more seconds, that's for sure. much too fast for that, but I think some can work on the body for a while. The old saying, no kill the body, the head of dying. Now tell me this, in your opinion, and you're very close to Sonny, uh, and you're close to both guys, uh, is Sonny relaxed? Is he tense? What do you think, Joe? Well, I think Sonny uh, right now looks like that. This last round, I think, it made him a little bit more t uh, tense because uh, the first round, I think, he this play really uh, showed a lot, of, a lot of moving, a lot of what he could do, you know? All right. We're getting set, thank you, Joe. We're getting set now for round number three. Liston and Clay. Another jarring right hand that time, folks. Another one. Sonny Wobble, Sonny Wobble, Cassius has him hurt. Sonny is, no, no, is, is talking to
working on the cut below the left eye. It's very difficult to get a shot, but what do you think Sonny's condition, as Joe Polino works on the cut, would be right now? Well, uh, Steve, uh, that round looked bad for Sonny. Especially when he was putting all, the, all that flurries on Sonny. But I think the last uh, minute of the round, I think Sonny looked very pretty good. One-pointed question. One-pointed question with regard to the other fella. Fella called Cassius Clay now that we get set for round four. Uh, do you think Cassius tired a bit? Or what happened a bit toward that last minute of the round? That's hard to say. That's hard to say. But, but Sonny did. But Clay did talk to Sonny. Toward the 
body with the big punches. Champion's corner, he's still standing up. They're going to make him sit down. 
What do you think is going on in Sonny's mind at this point? Well, I think Sonny now is beginning to worry now. At least his corner is beginning to worry now because I, I think that they feel now that, that Clay have all the confidence he needs and go home to beat the feet of Sonny. So I think that the corner now is beginning to worry a little bit now. Now they're working, as we note, with our camera shots in there below the left eye. They've already worked below the right eye. There you see them. Joe Polino trying to keep that cut closed. Uh, do you feel as though Sonny being busted up a little bit, puffed up a little bit around the face, will this make a difference in Liston's thinking? Well, it has to make a, li uh, a difference because Liston, now, I think he, he don't see too well out both his eyes now because they're pretty well puffed out. And I think Clay got all the comfort he need now, so I think that he, he can't him go on winning now. They might be stopping it. That might be all, ladies and gentlemen. Get up there, Joe. Get up there. Get up in the ring.